Tick tock, tick tock, says the time. Decision time, says the Nigerian electorate. And on channels television, we're on the ground keeping you updated on all the happenings from the north, south, east, and west. We bring you real-time stories on all our platforms. And just so you know, Nigeria 2015, only on Channels Television. Welcome back to Nigeria 2015 and uh, keeping tabs on the elections. Don't forget you can send your pictures, your comments on this one. Uh, well, let's go ahead and hear from uh, former Governor uh, Danjuma Goje about uh, the elections. Good evening and thank you for joining us today. What's your impression of how the election has turned out today, where you are? Everything went on well, statewide. Uh, people came out immersed and, and, and excited. Then later on, they came at one party and, and voted. Uh, this is a story I had from other, from the reports who got all over the state. Although I am now confined to my village, Kashere. Is it owing to the restriction of uh, movement? No, no, no. The, the army. The army, uh, the army came with uh, tanks, with uh, hillocks, took over, surrounded my house and adjoining houses, blocked all the streets, entrances into my house. Since 4 o'clock, nobody can go in or out of my house in Kashiri village now. The army has come in large number and taken over the place. Before so whatever it is, we don't know. Were you able to... I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of anything I've done wrong. All I did was to come to my village in the morning, uh, went to the polling booth and got accredited, came back to our house. When the time came for real voting, I went to vote. After I voted, I came back to the house. And then they came and took over. And now I'm under me and members of my family well, of course, we have come in large number to, for voting. All my relations, my children, grandchildren, my wives, everybody were all under siege completely by the army here in, Kash in my village, Kashiraka, in Gombe State. Have you made any efforts to find out why they are there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, have, I have tried to get across to the. I was told that it's an order from the commander. I'm a commander in Gombe, in charge of Gombe, uh, athlete, Gombe uh, Regiment, Gombe Army. But I have I tried to get across to him. I couldn't. Of course, I have talked to the director of SS. He took my telephone, and then I explained everything to him. He said, you'll find out. So that's all I know. But uh, so far, they're still there staying put. And small, small children, those who found themselves outside the house, they can't come in. Those who happen to not have them inside, they can't go out. Not only myself, but everybody. Could, could it so be... The whole, town, the whole town is under tension now. Very, very, very extremely tense is, is by it, the action of the army. Is it possible that they are there to protect you? Nothing is happening to me. It's my hometown. Everybody is happy. I'm a, I was, I'm a candidate, and I'm... I'm winning all over. I'm winning, and it's my village anyway. So what has happened to me in my village? Nothing. Was anybody People harassed? Have... Were you harassed? Eh? Was anybody, yourself or anybody, has, has anybody been harassed by them? Har harassed? Yes. Yeah, because, no, not harassment, but they don't allow any. They have blocked the streets leading to our compound. So nobody come in or out. I don't want to call it harassment, but I think it's intimidation or inconvenience. And I don't know what you call it. And people inside the house cannot come out of the house. People who belong to the house cannot go back to the house because the military has taken over the army. 
All right, uh, fair. we'll try and uh, we'll get across to the army. Uh, we'll, we'll keep trying so to find out what exactly okay. happened. Well, thank you very much indeed, uh, uh, Danjo Mazo, just speaking to us about uh, the goings on in his village, as he put it. Mm. But we do have a word from the Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy after, I think, I think the, the, she spoke after she cast her vote after her accreditation, but let's hear what she had to say. The big problem we have is that mo most of the people in this village were about 3,000, no more they single. Now when we are registered in another village seven miles away, and they didn't know they came here this morning to vote, and we are told they could not take a credit and vote. So to get to the place seven miles away where they had registered became a big problem. But thanks be to God with some work by everybody scrambling around, we've been able to transport them to the place where they can get accredited. But it took time, so that is a big problem. And I don't know how that happened. The, as you can see, this is the nearest and most central station for this village. And yet, three quarters of the people in the village cannot vote here. How, how, how is it that, I mean, a village and then as she says, three quarters of them were registered seven miles out. Wow. Well, I think we'll have a lot of explaining to do about, about that one. Well, there you go. Uh, well, now we've been joined by uh, Mr. Joe Mokidi, well, on our extreme lab, too, is a legal practitioner. Thank you for coming on this evening. And then uh, just close to him uh, is Chooks Wumachuku, who is also a legal practitioner. Thank you for coming on, Chooks. Thank you very much. We still have Babaji Dogun, so our data and information analyst, and also Channels TV in-house consultant on the elections. Uh, thank you for all hanging on today. Let's get your impression, gentlemen, of this election. Let me start with you. You went to vote today. What was your experience when you went out there? Uh, initially, it was um, a bit um, uh, unnerving in the sense that uh, the card reader Failed to recognize my card, and I wanted to do my. Failed to your card. Yes. Not the biometrics yet. No, not the biometrics. The card itself. He it just couldn't recognize the card, or wasn't recognizing the card. Did any? It was saying, uh, "Place your card." They will place it. They say, "Place your card." Did anybody in black uniform come closer to you at that time? <laughs> no, 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 no. So we tried another card reader. It was the same experience. Then I asked the 74, man, what am 75, I 76, yes, 77, 78, yeah, no, 79, me something. 80, now, I see you feeling some incident form. Why don't you feel, I mean, allow me, or feel, I mean, incidented. He said, well, that uh, if the card reader had at least recognized the card, then he could incident that maybe... Uh, maybe he couldn't pick the thumbprint and all of that. So, but as far as the card reader is concerned, I don't have a card. You know. So I said, okay, so are you telling me I have a, a fake card? Or that you, you issued me, INEC issued me with a fake card? So he said, well, it's not his fault. I said, no, that's not going to end like this. Now, you're going to have to incident this so that we will know how many people have been but, affected? But, but did the card get the right? Okay, well, at that time, it was still reading Chooks, once you go Yes, they had, had, they, they had manually, they had gone through the register, located my name, gave me a tag, and then asked me to do the, I mean, I mean to slot in the card reader. Which area was this? I mean, that was the uh, Omoli phase one. So what, what, what so was the magic? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't know. And I, 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 as far as I can recollect, I was the only one uh, affected. So I started making some noise. I said, no, I'm not going to leave this place without your at least incident in that this happened. So the young man, I, apparently he felt I wanted him to incident and then accredit me oh. manually. So later I explained to him that, that, no, I will not expect you to accredit me manually if the card reader could not identify my card at all. All I wanted to do is incidentally that this is what happened with this particular card. We were able to locate 
this voter on the 